Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you my latest haul of which you did see a couple of things when I made my dragonflies. But I ordered from scrapbook.com, eBay, and a D-stash from Crazy Paper Chick. So let's get started. This is from Crazy Paper Chick's D-stash. This is a Birch Press Joy and Peace. We've got the sentiments here and these big sentiments also cut out. And that's what attracted me to this. Stamping is easy, but it's nice to have the pieces also. So here's what I did, just on white. I think I'll go ahead and do tone on tone and see how that works too later on. But this is the Merry Christmas. The dies, you really pretty much have to get spot on to make sure like the circle goes in the A and the C there. But they're, they turn out beautifully. I think they're very pretty. I love the font. and believe believe peace I did that in silver shine is in gold and then joy is in red beautiful I, I really am going to enjoy that but I just used these they, they weren't used or it looked very much like they weren't used very very little I think that one was. So I think I got a pretty good deal. Okay, and next I wanted to show you, this was from scrapbook.com. It's a real pretty stamp, seahorse. Very antique looking, as I will show you. Let's use Early Espresso. homemade. I didn't make this. I had this made by Taps Plastic. Made me a bunch of acrylic blocks. Well, take the tape off. That might help. This is big enough that I didn't really, <laughs> I didn't put it on a stamp block the first time I used it. Okay. See how intricate that is? Okay, let's take an odd card base here. See how detailed that is? Very antique looking. I think that's going to go nicely with my authentic papers. And of course, you can do see horses in all different colors. Okay, let's put the ink away. Now, this one, I have to admit, gave me a little bit of trouble. The Spellbinders horse and the sand dollar. And they say it's compatible with platinum, sapphire, grand caliber, prism, Spellbinders machines. And I could not, for the life of me, get that, the star in the middle to, to, uh, to show up. So anyway, these are the sand dollars without the star in the middle. I think they're still pretty. I just cut this with vanilla cardstock. And then the seahorse. There's the seahorse. And my hands are all inky from just cutting out and stamping everything. But 
that's a really cute little seahorse. And then I mentioned in another video that I bought the pine bow die. And I thought it was real similar to the, the die cuts that I had. But these are really close. Not quite. But I think they turned out nicely. And these are cut from Tranquil Tide. And you can layer them. Over, you know, whatever looks good. And here I'll show you the die. Very intricate, very nice. I got this from 123 Stitch. I looked all over for a pine bow die. And so I finally went to them. I haven't ordered from them for quite a while. And here's the the paper again that I got on scrapbook.com. They're real pretty leathery feeling glitter black. This is Lagoon. And this is that nappy, pointy, sticky, ouch, <laughs> little bit black paper, if you want to call it that. And then I got this from eBay. Since I am a nurse, I thought, okay, I have to do something nursey. I have not used it yet. It's brand new. So I will use... I can leave this on here, I think, and just use my vellum sticky stuff. My film adhesive to put this on the stamp block. Okay, there. And I will find my Texio. Here's my tuxedo brown. That'll work. Just to show. Just for show right now. It's never been used. We'll see how it goes. Aren't they cute? I forgot what they called them. Mizzy and somebody else. Oh, the names of the ma the mice. Muzzy and Mud Pie. <laughs> Apparently. Can't tell them apart, but those are the names. Here's the aspirin bottle. <laughs> Checking his heartbeat. That's so cute. Okay, those are all the goodies I got recently. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.